Hello, hopefully. Hopefully, it's not too noisy out here for you because there is just kind of like a whir and a hum everywhere. Uh, but this kind of felt like the best place that I could do this because um, inside the light is not great. <laughs> There's lots of shades and uh, stuff to keep everything cool inside. So I thought outside might be best and it's quite early in the morning. So it's not really very many people around and it's not too hot. So anyway, hello, um, I'm still in Florida and um, I've bought a few things since we've been here. So I thought I would do a little haul. I haven't really bought much like non-candle stuff in a little while. Like I've been buying um, just all of my online shopping addiction has been totally focused on everything for our candle business, which if you are not aware, is called Smoke and Matches. I'll try and remember to link it below. I, I talk about it, but I never tell you what it's called. Um, anyway, because of that, I've not really had anything kind of to haul or to show you that's new recently, but I have purchased a couple of things since we've been here. Also, you may notice I've lost a nail. We went on the Tron ride in Magic Kingdom. And um, I mean, already I'm not really a roller coaster person, kind of too scared for that kind of thing, but I went on with Lee and I was absolutely convinced that I was coming out of my seat. I was like holding on literally for dear life. Like I'm gonna die on this ride. So I broke a nail. Disneyland claimed a nail. So I bought a couple of things that are kind of beauty related, which is again, it's been a minute. Um, we went to the outlets and the cosmetic company outlet um, had this amazing deal. Like once upon a time, I would have spent so much money in there, but I was pretty good. Ella wanted to um, do part of the deal. And I said, right, well, you do that and I'll kind of top you up to whatever. The deal was six items for $60, six makeup items for $60, any makeup items. It was crazy. There were like limitations for brands like Tom Ford wasn't included in it, but it was nuts. Like if you went in there like to buy gifts or something, you, you could have totally cleaned up. So she bought four things and I found two things to buy for myself. One of those two things, bear in mind, everything was basically $10. Was this? What? I've wanted a new, I mean, you know I love a palette, but one of the big Too Faced palettes for ages. And I'm always like, mm, it's always a little bit out there in terms of colors. Um, this was like my most, like it's neutral, but there's some funky colors in here that I think I would use. It's the Better Than Chocolate palette. And look how beautiful. Too Faced are some of my absolute favorite eyeshadows. Um, I'm really excited about this one. There's not really, the only issue with it is there's not really a lot of light colors, but that one kind of shimmery white in the corner. But other than that, in terms of like contrast, it's really, I think this is gonna be one that I go in for for something a little bit smokier or when I want some color. But $10, $10 was tax, crazy. Um, and the other makeup item I got from in there was this Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. Um, and I got fair light. There were some swatches and I swatched it on my hand. And it's hard because obviously we've been here for 10 days now, so I'm slightly more tanned than I usually would be in spite of all the SPF that I've been wearing. Um, but I, oh, I think this should be the right one for me. Usually when you go to these cosmetic company outlets, they've got like really limited shades available. Let's see, it's quite pale. But it is one of those like, it shears out. So it's not gonna be a major, major deal. But I just kind of felt like that was the one that when I'm at home, I'm probably gonna get the most use out of. Um, so yeah, Healthy Glow, all in one tinted moisturizer. And I, also with the things that I've picked, things that I actually purchased, I did feel like they're things that I would look for anyway. Maybe not the eyeshadow palette, that was a bit out there, but the tinted moisturizer, I have been looking for a tinted moisturizer and from Smashbox for $10, can't go wrong. Then we went to Sephora, I went to Sephora at Disney Springs yesterday. And there were two things on my list and I bought those two things, growth. The first thing was I wanted a, a mini of this. I've wanted this perfume for ages, but it's like 80 pounds or something, even in, the airport because Emma said to me have a look through duty free she always likes to buy perfume in duty free I'm not spending 80 pounds on a perfume is just crazy it's the Gucci Flora I think I paid $35 and it's a rollable so I love that it's like I was looking for a mini I thought it was gonna be a travel spray but a rollable I'm all about it so for this as well I feel like I'm not gonna use it as quickly I'm not just gonna like spritz 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 oh my god it smells so good um 
but also so perfect for travel. So this is going to be something that I should keep in my handbag. Um, and that was, I was specifically looking for that. Like I said at the airport, they might have a mini in Sephora and they did. And the other thing I wanted to try forever is the um, Summer Fridays jet lag mask, forever and ever. And um, it's again, really expensive. And I thought if they have a miniature and I looked everywhere and I was saying to Ella, as we were going through the, the queue, I said, I'm just looking for one thing in miniature if they've got it in the queue and they did. But they only had it in the queue section. So it's supposed to be like a super hydrating jet lag mask. It says busy lives lead to skin that's stressed, tired, thirsty. Use nightly daytime moisturizer or an in-flight skin saver. I'm not gonna be using that nightly because it's so expensive. I'm gonna be using it um, probably once a week, but I'm definitely gonna use it on the plane. Definitely. Oh, I did also buy, I'll show you at the end, I'll take you inside. I did also buy something that makes me the most basic of bees there ever has been. Um, apart from, you know, that, because that's up there. So we went to coach, also at the outlets. I went in, I tried on some things because there were some really good deals. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then I decided to go back and I got this. But to be fair, when I did go back, Lee bought it for me. She was very kind of him. This, which is beautiful. I don't know what the name of it is. Is it on the receipt? I have the, I get the impression, it's called the Claire with a K. Um, I get the impression it's one that they made for the outlets. You know, like it was never actually full price. Um, but again, I went in and I said to myself, you cannot buy, because there's always things that catch my eye in the outlets that really, I mean, I've bought so many things that I've then resold just because I've never used them. Um, I told myself it has to be like a small crossbody, comparable with the stuff that I actually wear on a day-to-day -day basis, and it has to be a neutral color. And there was actually a larger version of this bag. It was probably like, could fit a lot more stuff in it, but it was shades of pink. Um, and I was really torn. They were exactly the same price, really torn. And in the end, I mean, everyone, Lynn, Ella were both like, this is the nicer one. But because the other one was bigger, I was like, oh. Uh, and in the past, I would have bought the pink one and I never would have worn it. This I will wear a ton. Yesterday, I put it on with the outfit I was wearing and everything matched. It was just tonal. I love this color. It's so beautiful. And I really only wear little mini bags now. I love that you can also, the strap goes different lengths. This is long and you can do shorter. And then what I was doing yesterday was wearing it like that and then putting that behind because then that gives me another strap length. I love it. I do that with um, all my little mini crossbodies. I'm really happy with that. I feel like, you know, we don't need these things. Um, I didn't need to spend any money at all. And to be fair, I didn't spend any money on that bag. But I am trying to make choices that are based on, you know, like, what have you done in the past? Did you, did you like those things that you purchased? Maybe did you not need to buy those? I'm being better. Last thing. I went into Ron John's specifically to buy something for my dad's birthday. I got him this shirt. He's never gonna watch this, it's cool. Totally a vibe. Plus Ella helped me pick that. Ella said this was the one. I, there were loads of different fabrics. That was the thing that was kind of pushing me. This is a really nice, I wanna say it's tensile. I never know the name of, there's a fabric that's like a, it's a really thin, um, but it kind of like, it will hang nicely. Then at the, um, and I bought myself, I got this for my car, because I'm collecting bumper stickers. This for my car, which was cute. This was like 3 95 Then when we got to the actual queue, they had all of these. I mean, first of all, they gave you these for free, which I probably wouldn't have bought any stickers if I'd known I was gonna get these for free, because I'll just put those on the car. Then I saw these. And Karen, my um, candle partner in crime, has actually got one of these um, as a air freshener in her car. And that's how I always know that's Karen's car because it's got this in it. I think someone from work brought it back for her from like a Cornish surf shop, I wanna say. Um, but I think these, is, <laughs> these are really cute. So I got a couple of these. I've already put one on my computer. And then these ones. These were a dollar each, $3.95, dollar each. I mean, it's a different material, but still. Um, Plus, obviously, the other ones are kind of like advertising. Uh, but I thought they would be really cute for little souvenirs to take back for people. So what do you think? How did I do? I'm gonna show you the last thing. I'll take you inside if I can figure out how to get into the house relatively pain-free. 
Um, here we go. And I'm going to show you the last thing. The very last thing. Look at this. This is all my washing. The washing machines here are amazing. Like, out of this world. Washing machine and dryer. I swear to God, I could fit in them myself. Um, I was saying to Leah, I wonder if we could remodel our house just so that we could have a washer and dryer that looks like that because I'm all about it. Even Ella said she thinks she'd do a washing so much more often. <laughs> we're not, we're not particularly tidy people. Um, Ella and I. Leah's a very tidy person. I don't know how he lives with us. Um, but the, the washing machines are... I could do all my washing at once. It's crazy. Anyway, I got a Stanley Cup. I got a Stanley Cup. I got the khaki green. It's kind of in my colour palette. I'm kind of like beige's khaki green neutral colours. But to be completely honest, it's the only one I found in stock. It's crazy. Mm. Everything's cold all the time in this cup. Everything. But also it's massive. It's, I bought it because it's trendy. Don't get me wrong. But I have recently been taking um, up to my office two of my Starbucks tumblers, which keep water cold. Because if I go and fill one up from downstairs, I go upstairs, I drink it straight away, and then I've got no water. And I know that sounds like, you know, justification for buying something I didn't need because 100% did not need, or at the very least could have bought something for half the price. Um, but it is also gonna be useful. Just to find something I didn't need over here. Mm, I love it. So that's everything that I've purchased. And I don't intend on buying anything else. So I thought, rude. Um, I thought I would do a little haul. I thought we'd do a little haul. I haven't been very good with um, videos over on this channel recently because I have been so tied up in the world of candle making. Um, but I'm trying to get back into a routine. Um, for sure, vlogging is something that I gravitate towards because I feel like I can just pick up the camera and talk. But while I've been here, the couple of videos that I have filmed, I've just done that. I've just picked up my my phone and been like, hey, like all of them days YouTube. So maybe that's gonna be the key because just picking up and talking when you feel like it is completely different than um, planning out a video and being like, oh, I need to be whatever. Like I've got no makeup on right now. I literally woke up. Look at me. Look like you just found me in the woods. Um, seriously, they're like having a fight in midair. I can't see them. Um, but yeah, the kind of ad hoc stuff I really love. What's this? You want to see? I'm not going to like try and avoid the other people's houses, but look at the lake. It's just gorgeous here. We're thinking the next time we do a trip um, next year, we don't, two weeks is a long time for everyone and we miss the dog. Um, but uh, we probably want to do another Airbnb somewhere in America we don't know where if anyone's done anything like that that's not like going to do a certain thing just an airbnb somewhere or you've been like on a road trip and you've um like driven around and, and visited different places let me know where you would like to spend more time we're looking at kind of um anywhere really but i i just kind of need a a vague idea because we're looking east coast west coast i was looking at like texas um Milo said the other day when we were in the pool, because it's such a full-on holiday, a Disney holiday, that he would like to rent a house with a pool and live normally. <laughs> a two-week holiday is a lot when you're like hammering Disney every day. Today we're actually going out to celebration, which is amazing, proper full-on goals to live in celebration. <gasps> amazing. And then we're gonna go to a water park, so it's a bit more chill day. Because we just, first week we just went for it, um, and now we're able to just chill a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think we would like to do like maybe a week somewhere with a pool and um, just kind of experience life in that area. So any suggestions are welcome. This is why my hair looks like it does because we're going to the water park today. So I'm not doing anything with it. I've just allowed it to grow to its biggest potential and here it is okay thank you for watching and i will see you guys in a few days with i don't know what kind of video